it's really time to get your video on. And in today's podcast, I'm going to talk again, yes, again, about now is the time to do video and give you 20 ideas that you can do from the comfort of your home. Uh, it's video on the WBNL podcast. And the mountains are calling and I must go today on Wandering Zen. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. And now your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. You've reached the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 115. All of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jen O'Brien, what is on the roadmap today? Uh, video. You know, uh, we're doing our wow. 30. We're doing our 30. I, I was going back and looking at how many times we have talked about video. It's at least five, six episodes, if not more. I think actually more. Probably pushing on 10. And we... we you know, we redo the content and give it a lift but because there's a reason why, and it's because people don't do it. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> so we're going to keep coming back to it, but we're, as you know, we're doing our 30 day work from home challenge. And our tip yesterday was, was the wonderful Jocelyn England. And if you're in that 30 day work from home challenge, you should, you will have received that already. And you're going to get this tip and this information as well today. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about it because I was really excited about learning about what Canva, you know, you're a power Canva user. And so Jocelyn, right. Jocelyn showed me some cool stuff with video and inspired me to talk about it today on the podcast. So that is what I want to get into in our real estate segment. And you're going to take us to the national parks remotely. Yeah, absolutely. But before we go there, you're up. The, what's so interesting about video or anything really with the, with social media now or marketing now is it really just changes literally every day. And there's you, you could always learn something new, right? Because you were learning things yesterday, not, not new about how to market yourself on social media, but how to maybe present some of the way you are marketing on social media. So it was interesting. Yeah. And a segue into what I'm talking about, uh, you know, next week or starting Sunday, the 18th is the beginning of National Park Week, which is a celebration that's been going on since 1991, I believe, through the National Park Service and the National Park Foundation. Uh, so, you know, usually it's the, the, the whole thing is get up and get out to a national park. Well, this year's a little different because we have been quarantined for what is it? 33, 33 days. days. You <laughs> gotta love Be Live, the platform exactly. we use today. Had when I logged this in, had two widgets that you can add, which are just fun, right? Yeah. Happy days in quarantine, and you can actually also post your, you know, what your temperature is. That is awesome. <laughs> which way do I point? Anyway, yeah, yeah that, that's awesome. Anyway, it, it inspired me what you were talking about yesterday, what Jocelyn was showing yesterday to go into Canva last night. Uh, and I went down the rabbit hole you and, did? Built, yeah, and built, I think, 30 uh, images for my Instagram stories next week for National Park Week. So some, uh. of, them were, some of them were static, some of them are going to have videos. So, but anyway, so it's just interesting. It's, it's just a different way of, of presenting your material and it makes you stand out. It really does. So or we'll, I guess we'll see about that, but it makes it look better. So that's so this is going to be easy today, even though we've got a download for you for 20 real estate ideas that you could do. You might have to modify a couple of them because some of them are about getting out, but you, you know, depending on where you are in the world, you might be able to get out and do them. But I really want to help you focus on the Canva thing. And I found a couple links for you to share uh, video templates. There's hundreds of templates in there, as you discovered, right. Matt. And there's, uh, I got the link to this video tutorial for Canva where you can just spend a little time and get in, get excited about doing one thing. You know, we part of what we've done in this 30 day deal, I think we've overwhelmed people a little bit because people are enjoying the content and the fact that we're doing that, but you know, they're they're behind. So so we're as we go into the month of May, we're gonna let everybody catch up on all the content that we've been doing, a piece of content every single day in the month of April and a lot of great live stuff on uh, uh, Zooms, how to do Zooms and so forth. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Virtual. Very cool. And and for you that are National Park fans that feel like you're a little bit behind the eight ball as far as being able to have something to post, we have a free download today in uh, uh, Wandering Zen. You'll have 16 social media posts of different national parks around the country that you can download and use as your own. So free wow. download. Today. Oh, wow. We got a lot of good stuff going on today. Hey, episode no, 115. This is our wheelhouse of both All of right. us. So, All anyway. right. Let's dive in and talk a little bit more on video and Canva and just some specifics to help you out.
You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. Yes, video is our topic today in episode 115. Uh, All the show notes and links to resources and the download I'm talking about today, which is courtesy of Jocelyn England from Fidelity National Title here in Las Vegas, is 20 simple real estate ideas for doing video now. Uh, Certainly don't have to do all 20 of them, but it'll give you some ideas. We've shared tons of this content in the past. And today I I don't want to talk about just doing real estate video. I really want to focus on the power of Canva. Canva Canva.com, if you're not aware of it, is honestly, Matt, we have used that since the beginning well, of our company, yeah, right? For five years. Both our companies. Yeah, for five, five years, years, both our companies. Matt Emerson is a power user. In fact, he just did a tutorial for the company on how to use Canva, right? Yeah, and I am not a marketing genius, and it makes you look like one. It's easy, right? So all the people that were don't like Photoshop and all that, if you haven't heard the word Canva, then, man, you got to go check it out today. Just go to Canva.com. You can get a free account. Now, what I'm going to talk about today for premium, the other thing that Jocelyn told me yesterday is, I don't know if they're going to continue this, but Matt, did you notice that? Remember how it always was a dollar, even in premium, all those dollar photos are free right now. So that I don't know if they're doing that during a COVID-19 or if that's their reach out, if it's going to continue on. But if you pay the premium, which I think is like 10 bucks a month, right? Right. It's not much. If you're going to use it at all, it's not much. Uh, And you need to have premium to be able to get to the video templates. That is an upgrade, but it is so worth it for the, sheer content of what you can do so she opened my eyes yesterday because all we did in that segment was she recorded and just showed how easy it was to actually for example take your phone do a quick video upload it to canva and then go pop it in like it was an image into one of these templates that they already have designed change your colors your branding colors uh and if you're not a creative and like i'm not i i I will matt will tell you i will say matt i have this thing in my head of what i would like you to help me design I'll sketch it out generally on a piece of paper. I'll try to describe what it is I'm seeing in my head and he will take it and make it 10 times better. But if I go in there and try to figure it out, I'll be down that rabbit hole of picking, looking at the templates and trying to figure that shit out. Oh, I cussed. <laughs> the key to that though, if you don't figure have, that out, if you don't have the eye though, the key to Canva is really just use their templates because you could just change yeah. it. I mean, it, it, the, there are so many in there. It's amazing. Now they add them all. The the, there's new ones all the time. Well, that is. But the that's the problem. I'm I saying know. you go in and you can't pick it, and I don't have that eye for detail or design. But it, but it does help me even if I am going in there. But even when I go and attempt to do something, uh, you know, Matt will say, "Here, I'll take that and make it better, or have it in more in alignment." So if you have a mat, you're in good shape. But if you're not, you're still going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to uh, be fine. It's a so great in our in, in our notes today, I have a link to getting started with Canva, the video tutorials, and they they, they their design school for the tutorials is awesome. You just take it in little bite sized chunks, and you can learn everything you need to know about Canva. So hey, if you're in day thirty three quarantine like us, you know you could maybe take day thirty four, day thirty five, and just say, you know what, I'm going to take a couple hours, and I'm going to learn how to use Canva because you will be loving how well that helps you with your overall marketing, not just for video. Uh, just for your social media, obviously, but just for creating, I we use it for everything. So yeah, if you put- hey, if you if you spend any money on having marketing created for yourself, you're going to save money by learning this program. You really are. And once you get going on it, you're not going to take. It doesn't take that much time if you have it, it, kind of the uh, your plan down. So yeah. oh my, God, we're talking about everything: postcards, flyers. Uh, we're, we're we've created our entire. Uh, a magazine style recruiting oh, piece. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're about to take and take our listing presentation and buyer consultations that are in PowerPoint, but could, but take them into Canva so that we can do a little bit more. It's way easier to create in Canva than it is in PowerPoint, or you know, you have a lot a lot more that we're going to do. So we're about to take that to a new level as well in those areas of our real estate business. But this video piece is so awesome. So there are uh, there's also a link to where the templates are. So as soon as you get in there and you're in that premium. You could just click on the video area and start looking at templates and so forth. Uh, now, not only can you put your video up there, they already have snippets of videos, right, Matt? Did you no. find any of those? Oh, They're like 50, yeah. 10, 15 second video, and now you can put overlays and text on it. And so now you can create pieces that go out that capture the eye. The statistics, we've been talking about it all the previous episodes. Just go to your own homework. 
video works. Video has been working for a couple of years, if not longer. Video is king on social media and you have got to find a way. So I was hoping that this episode will help you. If you're afraid to put yourself in the video, which is a huge mistake if you don't do that, you could at least start working with some video and animated stuff that is, that is in the library there for you and uh, start working with that. So not only does it help with that, but if you're into Instagram stories, you just mentioned at the top of the show, you could, you could pick templates for Instagram stories. There's animation in some of them. And all you have to do is go in and put your specifics. They've got so funny because when she was showing me that, I follow people on Instagram stories and I'm like, wow, that's clever. Well, turns out it was one of the templates that she just uh, showed me that yeah. people had picked. And it was like, you know, here's my, you know, five emojis. What are yours? You know, and those there's templates already in there. And if you're not super creative to help you with stories, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, um, clearly you could take these videos and put them on social media. But if you're looking to do lead gen, now you could do something that's really clever with your videos and boost the post and run an ad and see if you can't do some, some other things. Uh, the other thing I like about video, I always talk about how you repurpose your video. So if you're creating something on video with Canva and making it look, you know, so imagine your face, your face, you doing a one minute video, an educational piece or something, but now you go put that into one of these templates and post it. It just catches the eye a little bit more. It still has you but it might have a message on it or it might have an image or, or something or color or something that might attract somebody to stop and pay attention to it. Uh, so that's what's powerful about that. Now, of course, once you do a video and you use it and you upload the video native to, to um, your Facebook, that's powerful. Facebook likes it when you don't put a link to the video where it sits over on YouTube. You right. should actually load the video to your Facebook. I was going to ask you that question because it's really interesting. I was doing a little test because I've been running different uh, uh, things the, the last couple of days. And I had a really good uh, view rate yesterday on Facebook with a video that I had posted. And I thought to myself, gosh, I would love to have had all those eyeballs on my YouTube channel instead of on uh, Facebook. Right. So today I posted my video from YouTube there. And I'm anxious to see how many people click through because it will be very interesting to, to see the difference there. I think you're going to find, I predict, that you're going to have more views on Facebook. It's interesting. And Facebook will position it better because it wants you to put the video there, not on YouTube. Right. So you could do both, right? Of course, you should do both. You should put your video on YouTube. Right. You could also, you just, you're going to test it. So now you'll have a test case and we should report that next week. And you know what How I'm actually going to do? This particular thing right now, I have three one minute videos I'm going to do over the next three days. It's a three parter. I think I, to, the way to really test this, since it's the same kind of series, tomorrow I will just post it on Facebook and see if that same type of video, what kind of the, the traffic is different. Because I, I really was wondering that yesterday and because you hear so many different things right i guess you just have to try everything yourself i i agree but people are more less likely to click away from facebook they're scrolling they catch well, your thing and, you and know they want to stop and look at it to that point because of the way the loops work on facebook it's always a, an and the, 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 there's movement as they're scrolling down the page the other thing is just a static picture that they that's the whole purpose of doing this is what it's we're awesome. talking about yeah so i love it so ch check those out I'll give you a couple other ideas so you're going to go play with that make your videos pop Keep it simple. There's so many things you can be doing. Like you could be doing right now, in a, just to highlight a couple of the ideas that are in this top 20 videos to download, video content ideas for real estate agents, market updates. That clearly is something you could be doing almost on a weekly basis. That's something we've been talking about in our 30-day. David Squire, our guest coach and awesome trainer, has shared. He's been tracking weekly statistics for a couple of years super powerful what we're learning in our market and it's so intriguing because i saw a post from a friend is in atlanta north uh she's in woodstock area north of atlanta it's different market totally different market they are having not as much inventory and still some buyer let little less buyer but there's but there's they're really having not as much of a, a loss as we are right now we're in vegas we're having people put their houses on the market they're in her town they're not getting a lot of inventory, which is creating the, even though there's less buyers, is creating the, the need that, you know, that whole seller's market still right. so intriguing that it's different in different parts of, this, of, the, of the county. But the real estate market update is a classic one you could be doing every week just to say, here's the stats from last week, here's the trends, now's a good time to, you know, if you list, this is what we have to do. If you're a buyer, there's opportunities, there's all these things you could be doing there. Um, the thing I think is the big one you could be doing right now, you can get all 20 of these in the downloads today over at the show notes at uh, episode 115. But you could be doing um, 
the behind the scenes, you know, be showing that you're doing Zooms or frankly, you could be doing some video around that about what it's like to work virtually. Everyone loves the whole behind the scenes thing. I haven't been doing that and I'm going to do some of that. I certainly could be talking about ways you've adapted your business. Um, you know, you could be doing tips on buying and selling. So the idea that I've always shared with, with everybody is create a show, you know, create a consistent thing that you're doing. And once a week, you're posting something that is what I call evergreen content. So the market, the market update is in the moment, but the evergreen content is more like, here's another thing to know, or here's, here's a, a series of answering people's questions about the buying or selling process. So there's a ton more that you can do uh, that you can grab. Uh, some of them are going to require you to, you could even remotely though, even if we were talking about local business spotlight, which we've talked about on the show numerous times, do a zoom. How about talking to a business that's open right now and talking to them to support them about how they're working in the community and sure. how their business is open. There's all kinds of ways that you can adapt that content that we have for you today. So the other things we have for you as well is, um, uh, uh links to our previous podcasts and some other resources where we talk about video and tech, you know, technical stuff on video all the way to how to repurpose your video because there's so much you can do. You can put it in your newsletter. You know, there's just video is just so powerful. Just one video a week could turn into so much content and so many ways for you to use it and it will make a difference in your business. So we really urge you now's the time jump in, but why don't you go try it and make it easy by playing with Canva canva.com and check out the video templates and maybe that'll be your entree into the video world and you will be seeing like Matt has just done with some, posting some national park stuff and, and actually Disney. I, it was I, Disney, I stuff, up, yeah. It was Disney, right? And you got yeah. some great interaction with people. Right? And, right? So yeah. good stuff. All right? Good stuff. That's it for your tip today. I, I wonder if we'll ever talk about video again. Yes, always. <laughs> Till I have everybody that listens doing it. I know. So it, but it's so awesome. I love it. So. Come take my hand and see the world around you. The time is right. Just let the light surround you. And step by step, you feel it coming alive. The feeling deep down inside. The best memories are made when you take the road less traveled. Visit wanderingbutnotlost.com for some inspiration. Today on Wanderings In, we are going back to the parks. Uh, starting Sunday, April 18th through the 27th, I believe it is, is National Park Week 2020. Uh, you know, usually it's get up, get out, get to a national park and find your park. Uh, this year, under our shelter in place orders across the United States, uh, that's a little difficult. But I am telling you, the National Park website and the National Park Foundation never fail because they have put together a collection of items on the uh, the website this year that allow you to stay home and probably do more wandering than you've ever been able to wander before. Plus, awesome and incredible quizzes and games and stuff for kids, virtual tours, um, a, a, an opportunity, a gallery opportunity for you to jump in and submit your own stuff. Uh, it is really uh, fascinating. I went down the rabbit hole uh, preparing for the show today and uh, I, it, it, it filled a little bit of that boy that I'm having about not getting up and getting out because it was just so awesome to see other people's kind of through the their their eyes and through the their minds, you know, what their experience had been like at the national park. So so Jan O'Brien, once this is all over and we're able to comfortably and safely and mentally be able to get out and 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 do something, do you have a destination in mind or are you going to Sedona? Because I know that's your oh. It's so funny you should say that. I was just talking to friends about as soon as there's an opportunity to stay at Airbnb, Sedona, I'm going. I remember you talking about that. Mm -hmm. place. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And I want to get back. And I was just telling you before we started that I bummed about not being able to, well, hopefully at some point later, being able to get to a park this, this year. Right. Yeah. It's so, you know, I had made the vow every year that I wasn't get the Channel Islands National Park. And this year I'm like, you know what? I've talked about it forever. I'm going. Well, Unfortunately, this year I couldn't. I mean, when I was set and ready to go, uh, couldn't go. So uh, thankfully, they have an incredible uh, underwater webcam for the uh, for 
uh, Channel Islands, do you see the kelp going? It's absolutely fascinating. So I get a little bit of Channel Islands going down there, but I am telling you right now, mark my words, when this is all over, Sweet Pea and I are headed to, to Sequoia. Or to, well, Sequoia, yes, we'd love yeah. to from there. But I'll you send there again. Yosemite, absolutely. It's been too long since we've been there, and I am really, really uh, needing to get up and get out and go through that tunnel and yep. just, you know, experience the the park. It was funny. We went to uh, to Yosemite a lot when we were first married, and then there was this long gap where we didn't go there. As a matter of fact, quite frankly, we went to Vegas a lot uh, during that time. We were young, and uh, we when we kind of started getting back into the road trip scenario you know for our vacations the first time we went back to yosemite we were driving up you know over the mountain kind of getting ready to go through the tunnel and we we both kind of went silent in the car and we drove through that tunnel and we got out on the other side of that tunnel and we were both crying it was the most amazing thing because it, that place really touches both of our hearts and it had been such a long time since we've been there and it is absolutely the most beautiful it's like you could not have created an entrance to a park more spectacular than that tunnel view entrance at Yosemite. So I can't wait to get back there and do I'm that. I'm having that vision right now. Oh my God. That tunnel. With you too, because yeah, you guys, you guys introduced me to Yosemite yeah. and you were great because you were like, you weren't like doing, you know, you were just waiting for me to have that experience. Like, you know, we're going through, and then I was like, what? You know, like your eyes just go, what? And you have to pull over and you're just like, Ugh speechless it's yeah, breathtaking there's, there's not it is breathtaking there's not too many places i mean there's a panorama view panoramic views everywhere right. but there's something about that especially if you have well even if you've been a million times but if you haven't been before oh, you see yeah. half known and el capitan and brightville falls i mean it is absolutely amazing so anyway that's where we're going and I, I i don't know i've been just you know because you have time on your hands right i've been looking at videos and and um and pictures and stuff from all of our our travels and i just feel like oh, we've been so blessed i've been able to go so many parks over the years and you know hopefully everything will get back to where we can do that all again but i'm telling you beyond the moment is the memory and boy we've got some great ones so i'm very thankful for that so let's let's get into what the national park service and national park foundation have put together for this year which i think is probably one of their best things you know in 2016 was the 100th anniversary of the national parks uh, system and uh, they came up with the slogan that year find your park well find your park it never really kind of went away since 2016 but it is back with a vengeance uh this year uh because you can you can stay at home and find your park so mm -hmm. let's just go through a few of the things that are on the website that I just think are great for the whole family. I introduced some of this stuff to my uh, wife last night. She's going to use this. She's going to have National Park Week uh, next week with all, cool. her, her online classroom, right? There's a lot nice. of little things they can do. So let's just talk about some of the areas. By the way, all of the stuff I'm talking about is over at the show notes over at wbnlpodcast.com or wanderingbutnotlost.com. Um, although I, I have written some of this blog post, uh, truth be told, and full disclosure, a lot of this I copied right from the National Park website because if it's not broken, don't fix it. So uh, plagiarism at its best, but I'm sure they'll appreciate it too because it's just another place getting the word out, you know, to 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 go. So they have one place here called Picks and Recs, uh, and it was just kind of like Parks and Rec, I think, but kind of clever little spin on that. But you can actually anybody, and it goes through an approval process, but anyone can post their national park pictures or write a little recommendation. So you can write a little blurb about that. I love doing stuff like this. And last mm -hmm. night I'm like, how can I, how did I not know about this? Mm -hmm. So of course I submitted my uh, a Yosemite story. And um, this morning when I got up, I went online and there it was my uh, little- You're Yosemite. published. Yeah, published on the NPS Foundation um, website. But anyway, it's, it's cool. The photos on there that have been submitted and approved are spectacular. Uh, nice. some, some picture from every place around the United States, parks all over. And it's it, I, you could spend a day just looking at all of that stuff, and it's 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 really cool. So, pics and recs is one area. Uh, getting social, they've done some stuff for social media, which is really cool. So, speaking of Instagram stories, which we were talking about earlier, uh, if you go into your Instagram story and you type in National Park Foundation in the sticker area, uh, they have a couple uh, different, They have a couple of different stickers on there. They have one that says, find your park, and it kind of flashes a little bit. I forget what the other one is, but I'm gonna be using the heck out of those next week. Um, and then they had something on Twitter as well, and I forgot exactly what so it was. So you're doing, you're, you're working your stories. I'm working, well, you know what? I have not been a, a Instagram storyer, but I'm gonna be working my story next week, all with National Park. It's some, that's a week long dedication I'm doing. I'm excited me. about that. Just there you go, it's like a focus 
just for the week is exactly. I'm going to own stories. Just to see they, what that's all about. Right so they, they have a uh, link on there to a page called Park Tracks. Uh, I think they do actually a, 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 it's not maybe not a weekly, but there is a ongoing series that's on that. But if you go to that page, there is a 12 minute audio of just sounds of the natural national parks. I listened to it probably four or five times uh, last night as I was putting the show notes together. Oh, man. There's birds and waterfalls and animals and leaves and, and wind. I mean, it is just fantastic. So check out Park Tracks. Uh, then they have this whole section. It's called Get Your Game On. Oh, my gosh. They have everything you can possibly think of for kids all the way up to adults. They have quizzes on there. They have a national park bingo, virtual national park bing bingo, which is so cool. And this is how layered. How do you play, how do you play that? Well, this the, the virtual national park uh, bingo had things on it like take a walk or go for a hike and you got to mark it off your bingo card. Or um, I, I saw an eagle or something like that. So obviously you're not uh, at the National Park, but it's, yeah. it's nature, na nature inspired type of stuff. But what I Got thought it. was so cool and that this was clearly not just thrown together in a day. You click in there and then they have like four, three or four different versions of the cards. You can click on it and get a whole different set of, of uh, bingo uh, squares and questions if you want to play that. I'm telling you, the game thing was awesome. And I didn't go in and take quizzes because I was already down the rabbit hole, but I can't wait to get back in there and and check that out. Of course, if you're of a certain age, and I believe it's 12 or under, um, uh, and I don't know how they would even be able to judge that now, but you can still become a junior ranger. There's a number of different places, national parks that they have uh, set up to where you can go in and study the national park and become a junior ranger and get your junior ranger bag. And they include uh, Abraham Lincoln's birthplace national park, the Klondike Gold Rush National Park, Denali National Park. And then there's a place where you can actually become a space flight explorer, um, uh, which is, is really cool too. So if you have kids, you want to get them involved in the park system, they can still become a junior your ranger and then there is this page that i i it will probably visit every day uh it's a place place where they have virtual park uh visits it, and it goes it gives a list of all the webcams that they have throughout the system of the national parks but there are some 360 degree videos they've done you know the videos that you come on that you can actually rotate the the you know oh, yeah. you, you yeah, can scroll like around like we do for our virtual yes, exactly. tours like, of a house. Exactly okay, yes. like that. It, uh, okay. they, I have one actually in the show notes of a virtual tour of Crater Lake. It is... Oh. Fan freaking tastic because not only do they have you have the ability to move around, they have uh, inserted um, like highlights, like the pointing to the sites they're talking about and some of the snip. It's just a, it's the most well done 360 video I've ever seen, and it is really really cool. So um, check it out on our uh, our show notes, but then go over to the virtual park site to uh, you know to see more of them, and then you know. After all of that stuff there, if you haven't found your park uh, or if you are looking for a new park, we've kind of uh, done the deep dive on the National Park website. And we have on our show notes giving you a link from uh, our show notes back to the website, the National Park website of every single state in the United States. So if you are like, hey, what's going on in South Dakota? Um, you can punch the button. It'll go to the site where you can visit all of the park uh, there in that particular state. So, I mean, once you get on the National Park website, you can do all of this stuff, you know, just by clicking around here. But our place, our, our show notes and our blog posts are a, a perfect place to jump off and uh, go uh, uh, find out what you're looking for. Also on our show notes this week, I have a series of videos just from my experience and travel throughout the park. But uh, because next week is National Park, Park Week, and we want you to be involved. And hey, go be social on social media. If you are haven't been to a park and don't have a lot of um, uh, photos of your own, or if you just want to have an additional set of photos, we have included in our show notes today a download of 16 really awesome, if I do say so myself, built in Canva, by the way, uh, National Park uh, uh Post. They're actually sized to Instagram, but you can use them anywhere. They're square. That go through 16 national parks and has, I think, nine pictures from those national parks, uh, you know, in each one of them. So some great stuff you can download, use as your own, and uh, participate in National Park Week online. Um, but I'm sure 
all of y'all out there that are listening to this, I already have a thousand national park pictures to uh, to share as well. Another thing that just always coincides with National Park Week, of course, is Earth Day. Earth Day is next Wednesday, April 22nd. I have to say that probably out of all the years in the, is it 50 years? That Earth Day has been around, or I think it was 1870 when it started. Yeah, so 50 years. Um, this is probably the most thankful Earth Day we've had in in many ways. I mean, wow, even, totally. Because the world has been shut down for you know um, a month or so or longer in some places, and uh, you know it is giving the chance to the Earth to breathe a little bit. Now, does that change everything? Does that unwind global warming? Hell no. But it does uh, show. You know, I don't know if you've noticed this. I don't know what it's like this in, in Vegas, but when we're walking around, I can't even tell you how many more birds we're hearing uh, chirping around. It is. Yes. And it's the amazing. skies are clearer. Yeah. Uh, well, well, you've noticed that. I mean, you haven't seen the news stories like how China is saying like their their air quality is better. The whole thing about the Venice canals. I think we talked about that. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. You know? uh, yeah. Crazy how the earth can heal itself a little bit if it has a breather. Yeah, I have been watching uh, posts. Which tells you how much we do as, a, as human beings to destroy the dang earth. See, you know, Jan, thank you for yeah, bringing that up. I'm actually going to go there next, and I think that that is the key to this. If you are a climate denier and you are seeing what's happening to the world with just 30 days of less you know, CO2 and all of the harm we yeah. do to the planet, uh, how, how that has improved just the slightest, tiniest little bit, then you should have, if your eyes aren't a uh, well, if you're not woke, you're never going to be woke. But the force of Mother Nature and the Earth in general of how, you know, there's stories after stories of, of how the, the nature will take over in a place that's abandoned by yeah. man, mankind uh, and, and, and everything just proliferates again and, you know, comes back. It's, it's what's happening. It's very intriguing because there's so much. Awakening is kind of the, the theme here for all of us if we, if we really dig into sure. being... You know, people are freaking out about it being like, oh, my God, 33 days. This is I can't t take it anymore. And I'm like, there's an opportunity here to wake up and, and, and just appreciate so much right now, as opposed to going down the negative uh, hole, uh, no, watching no. endless negative media. And you know what I mean? Like, that's that's Ooh. it. I, I, I've gotten sucked into it a couple of times, but I I've taken some uh, some I've done some things recently to go back to those roots of what's the upside in all of this? What's the positive stuff that's happening? And then that just helps you with your whole demeanor, you know? Yeah, totally. I, 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 afternoon I went, we have so many hiking trails around where we live. I feel really blessed to be living where we are. And you wouldn't even think they'd even be there uh, because we're in the middle of Orange County. You know, yeah, Orange County. So anyway, it's it's crazy. But I, when I was walking yesterday, I was really reflecting upon how thankful and how blessed and how fortunate I have been to do the things I've done and go to the places I've, I've done because we don't really know what it's going to be like, you know? So, but you're right, Jan. It, the opti being optimistic, this is a time that we can make some actual, really huge changes to improve the standard of living, not just for us, but for our for our children and decades, you know, uh, people decades to come. So get all inhabitants of the earth. Yes, yes. all inhabitants <laughs> of the earth. We are the world, for crying out loud. We are the world. <laughs> yeah. Getting to your point about how nature starts to take over, I've been reading and seeing a lot of videos and posts from Yosemite talking, because the park is closed. There's about 100 or so people still in the valley that are there just because they were there, right? And they're were, they were sheltering in place. And, oh, my God, what a place to shelter in place, right? But um, how the animals are, are, there are so many animals down the valley floor that aren't typically in the valley because, you know, there's people around. And they, they are saying that, you know, it's it, um, it's not like they're, those animals aren't around. They're just like <laughs> on the sidelines. But mm -hmm. now they're, they're able to wander the meadows and do things do do things they haven't done in a long time without the worry of cars and humans being all over the place. So, it must be amazing, man. For yeah, them. I can't. The images. You know, I I don't get envious very often, but I am a little envious of uh, of you know it would be so wonderful to be in a, in that park right now, any of the parks really, but be a park would, ranger right now. <laughs> yeah, just to go ahead and just be able to be around all that because it would be so different. So anyway, so much you can do from home during National Park Week, and I really encourage you to go to the National Park website. Go to our go to our show notes. Actually, you, you, there is a link to everything. I there this is uh this this particular show note uh, series. Uh, today has probably a hundred links in it. So you you will not get uh, uh, bored jumping off and going down the rabbit hole this year for National Park Week. I uh, just really encourage you to get involved. 
get up, get out, be wandering but not lost, and please go find your park. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. Well, that's a wrap for episode 115 of the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. All of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. General Brian, what a fun episode. Yeah, it's pretty good for day 33 of our <laughs> stay at home, shelter in place. It's not really a quarantine. That's not a good word because I I'm, I'm, I get out. I get out and take walks. Oh, and I, yeah. I go do you know shopping. We'll see what happens. But oh my gosh, I'm super inspired. I've got a great idea. I wrote it down while you were talking, and I, I think that what we should do on this podcast to help us and, and help all the people that listen is for the starting with next week, <clears throat> here's the idea. Take Matt's advice, and we'll carry on with each week. Each Friday coming up, we will do a weekly challenge, like one weekly challenge to help maybe people embrace five national parks as one, and it'll be picking a thing like an Instagram story or so for like one that. week, you could Matt just set you up for it. He gave you things to do. But what if you just chose one thing that you're going to do, for example, video, or you're going to tackle Instagram stories, or you're going to do just one thing. And for a whole week, you post something, and the something is going to be during National Park Week to do something with that. And then I have a couple ideas that we'll start, we'll share with you next week on each week in the month of May would be a new challenge. And if we are still in some kind of level of a, shelter in place or it starts to, to level up, uh, you know, loosen up a little bit, there'll still be a focus with just one thing to help you figure out what is your, what is your thing when it comes to marketing. I love that idea because you, you can't learn anything in a day. It's a lot of it's trial and error and you will right. be able to, to grow in that. And I think that's fantastic. I know I'm looking forward to it. I was having a little anxiety less. I have to tell you, cause it's like, Oh, do I have enough? Am I doing the right thing here? But you know what? Time will tell. I'm committed. So it's going to be fun to actually. So I'm in, are you in? You're, well, you're already doing it. I'm so I'm in. in, I'm going to leverage your stuff. And for the next week I'm going to do, I want to get back into using stories, Instagram right. stories myself. So I have, my commitment is for the next week is to share some National Park stuff, National Park stories, and celebrate the, the National Park Week and Earth Day. And we'll have some more uh, great ideas for you starting next week on one thing to focus on, one medium, one area, to just commit to for a week. All right, so let's have some fun with that, Matt Emerson. Awesome, I love it. Is that a wrap? It's a wrap. All right, everyone, be forever wandering, but not lost. Mm-hmm.